Thank you for taking the time to tune in to All Things Possible, Prophetic Brand with yours truly, Prophetess Sika Esther Grace. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, in Jesus' name. Live out loud. Live out loud. You see today's message. We stop and we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit to come on in. Holy Spirit, come in and do what you do. I decrease so that you may increase. By the end of this message, I know that those that are tuned in will be blessed. They will be enlightened and the eyes of their understanding will be open because of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Go with me to Matthew 10, verse 32 and 33, which is the foundational scriptures for this prophetic insight and this teaching. Matthew 10, verses 32 through 33. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Jesus is saying when a person stands before other people and says he believes in me, then I will say that person belongs to me. I will say this before my Father in heaven. But when a person stands before people and says he does not believe in me, he does not believe in Jesus Christ, then I will say that person does not belong to me. I will say this before my Father in heaven. Now Jesus makes the point with much clarity. Jesus will acknowledge to God everyone who acknowledges Christ to other people in their life. The disciples will acknowledge Jesus in the sense that they will affirm him as the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God. They will point to faith in Jesus as the only way any person can come to the Father. John 14, verse 16. In essence, Jesus will acknowledge them to the Father by declaring them as his own. And in that way, guaranteeing their place in eternity with God. Jesus represents our righteous witness at a trial vouching, vindicating, affirming for us as the accused to the judge, as, 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 as the enemy has accused us before the Father. But Jesus is our representation. The judge is God. He, he will take the word of his son Jesus over the accusations of the enemy, over Satan's accusations, over the devil's accusations. We know that in, in this passage for us Bible scholars, Matthew 10 and 32, Jesus encouraged his 12 disciples as he sends them out with his authority in this passage and commands them to proclaim far and wide the gospel of Jesus Christ. Although he forewarned them, persecution will come to them. They must not be afraid. I'm going to say this again. Although persecution will come to them, Jesus encouraged them to not be afraid. They should fear instead, reverence and honor God and understand that their heavenly father cares deeply for them. He will see them through any trial and tribulation, even if it's unto death. Then Jesus declares that he too will acknowledge to his father who acknowledges him to others. Those who deny his identity, meaning him as the son of God, meaning him as the Messiah, meaning him as the anointed one, as sons God, as God's son, excuse me, as God's son. However, he will also deny them. The goal of life for many it's all about who we are trying to please or who are we, we are trying to impress in some form or fashion, whether it be through our accolades, our accomplishments, our successes, etc. However, this passage is highlighting to me, it's illuminating to me, and I want it to illuminate to you all also, 
and I pray that it does. This passage is reminding me to remind you the importance of our life's journey, our Christianity, especially for those who confess and believe Jesus as Lord, who represents the kingdom of God, who is a born again believer, who is an ambassador of Jesus Christ, who stands on the front line, who stands on the back line, but they represent the name Jesus. It is very important to know the real meaning and purpose while being on this earthly journey. And that meaning and purpose is we are grateful for the accomplishments, we are grateful for the successes, we are grateful for the opportunities and the open doors, we are even grateful unto the Lord for the beautiful homes, the vehicles, we are grateful unto the Lord for the financial means, we are grateful unto the Lord for the prosperity and wealth, we are grateful for all of those things. But that's not the real importance and the real meaning of our purpose while being on this earthly journey. When it's all said and done, only what we do for Christ will last. Anything else is just temporary. Anything else is not eternal. And Jesus was encouraging his 12 disciples. In other words, on this journey, you're getting ready to come across a lot of people. And it's going to be a lot of people who do not believe me. Uh, they, they do not believe that I am the son of God. They do not believe that I am the Messiah. They do not believe in, in, in my father who's in heaven because a lot of them back then had their own God. And they had their own nations and they had their own laws. So who who is this Jesus? Who, who do he think he is? Can any good thing come from Nazareth? And so he was encouraging his disciples like many of us today who stand in the gap, who represents Jesus, who is a kingdom in, of ambassador of Jesus Christ, who who represents that name. Jesus encourages us all the time through his word. He encourages us all the time through our leadership, uh, through our mentors that look, you're going to come across some persecution. You're going to come across some people who are going to deny his name and they're going to be headstrong and you're not going to be able to change them. However, don't let them change you. Don't allow them to make you not live out loud for the name of Jesus. Don't allow them to make you not represent Jesus out loud. Don't hide. Don't deny him before people. Don't come into agreement. Don't compromise your walk. Don't compromise your anointing. Don't compromise your, the, the spirit of the Lord before men. These men that he was referring to were unbelievers. They were, they were naysayers. They were hypocrites. They, they live all type of, 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 of lives that, that did not represent the kingdom of God. But I need you to stand firm. I need you to be convicted. I need you to be sure and say, okay, I respect your choice. But my choice is still Jesus. I still represent him. I still believe in him. And I boldly, I, I boldly confess and I live out loud for him unapologetically. Regardless of what you think and regardless of how you feel, he is the son of God. He is the Messiah. He is regardless. And so I encourage you all today, especially for believers in, in, in the time that we're living in. I'm, I'm really sad and, and, and disappointed um, uh, about the position and, and, and posture that many believers are displaying. And, and, and it's not honestly of Jesus Christ and, and, and you and even living out loud means live out loud for him in your character and in your integrity on your job and even with the with this political race and even with this presidential race you know at the end of the day at the end of the day the will of the father will prevail the will of the Father will prevail. Not once did Jesus say in Matthew 10, verse 32 to uh, 33, to his disciples to argue, to dispute his name, to, to, to dispute the gospel of Jesus Christ, to be in confrontation, to be, to, to be argumentative to those who do not believe. He said, the only thing I'm asking you is to just stand firm. 
and continue to proclaim and continue to to express wide and far and wherever you go and the journey that you on that Jesus is Lord it needs no argument it needs no explanation because our life alone is the witness is the true witness of Jesus Christ so that's why we have to make sure that our light is always shining I know that we don't dot every I and we don't cross every T I know that we mess up sometimes but humble yourself you will always hear me say humble yourself confess the errors of your ways repent before the father and keep it moving but don't be on social media lashing out at people and calling it God. Don't be at social, on social media quoting scriptures and, 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 and forcing scriptures into people's face who believe what they believe. Agree to disagree. But you stand on the word of God. You stand on the name of Jesus. You stand on the name that's above all names. You stand on that name that at the end of this day and at the end of this journey, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. So the gospel is good news. The gospel is peace. And although it may cause some turmoil and it may stir up some things, again, your posture and your position and your attitude should always be that of Christ Jesus. Remember, live out loud for him, but live with great integrity. Live with great representation. Live because for some, you're the only person that they're going to see that's close to Jesus. You're that representation. Your life is that witness, that witness to that person. And you got to make sure you're witnessing effectively. You got to make sure you're wit witnessing wisely. The word of God declares that a wise man wins soul. Not a fool, but a wise man wins soul. And win people over to the salvation the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so I pray in the name of Jesus that you were blessed and that you were encouraged and remember live out loud for Jesus God bless you Jesus is Lord